you about wholesome entertainment because that's what I'm here to talk about and not necessarily about me. But I will say a little bit about where wholesome began. If you've read anything about us, then you will know that wholesome began as a fluke. It was flukes. We, my husband and I needed to raise funds for our wedding. We didn't know how to go about it. He'd written scripts before and acted before and we thought, wait. So we can write a play and charge people and have fans for our wedding. <laughs> True story, that, that was February 2010. We did our first play, It's Not About the Bride. That, the Kenyan wedding story, uh, what we've gone through uh, being an intercultural um, marriage, when we were preparing for it, where you realize that Daddy is just a headache in Kenya. Uh, your parents just decide who's going to be on your uh, lineup and all that. And we just put it in a play and had our first play. That was February 2010. After that, people kept asking us, when is the next play? And we were like, we got married. <laughs> we, we, we did have a plan for a, another play. But that's how Wholesome began. We, we were both working then, now we quit our job and now do wholesome fully, my husband and I, is there. So, um, what do we do at wholesome? Uh, what do we say? We say we deliver true happiness. As uh, our moderator was saying, we, we try and entertain people. But as we started, we started with the story of the family and how weddings are done and we realized our niche would be the family. And that's how we come up with delivering true happiness through building relationships. We exist to build relationships and deliver true happiness through engaging humorous and relatable plays. It's all Kenyan. Uh, when you watch our play, then you realize you've seen someone who looks like that. You know someone who does exactly what you've seen on stage. So we say that it's engaging, it's humorous, and it's relatable. How we do this is that we develop in-depth research. I think that's our core. Where we do a lot of research on the subject matter, be it corporate communication, family themes, etc. that is delivered through cutting edge productions and platforms. Why we want to talk about corporate communication is because we started with plays. But as we've grown, we realized that uh, the the public was a niche in terms of family themed plays, but the corporates were also seeking us out, uh, asking how do we do internal communication through in a humorous manner. If if you work in the corporate world, then you realize yani HR trainings are the most boring things that people should go through. <laughs> so uh, we approached HR trainers and, and told them. There's a way we can do relatable things through skits that are fun, where people see it, see themselves. What, when we're talking about customer service, if you go and start doing this, yani, this slide thing, people just doze off. Yeah. So what we do is that we do internal communication, uh, be it uh, they can give us a theme, and we do uh, a skit, we write a skit about it, and then we present to them. So that's what we do. We, we build. At the end of the day, we build relationships, be it in the corporate setting, be it in the public setting, be it uh, in the family setting. So our products, I've talked about that. We do family-themed public plays. Uh, if you've watched our plays, uh, we did It's Not About the Bride, For Better, For Us, Corporate Wife. You heard about that? We did History Box, and we're now doing a show next month called Deputy Husband. Those are the plays we do for the families, and then we do corporate employee motivation plays, where a corporate entity like National Health <coughs> Group would tell us they want to do a show for themselves. So that's what we do, just for, uh, we do the same play, but for a corporate entity. Then we do themed corporate communication skits. I've, been, uh, uh, I've told you about that, where we, do something like we did something for Brand Coke, where we go and help the company to see how do they uh, empower their employees to defend Brand Coke. Uh, so that's a theme. It's a theme depending on what you want. Then we write it and then we do a skit about it. And then we have our latest baby coming in December, our theater academy. 
Joel talked about there are no schools. Really, it's it's hard being an actor. People are paid the way they want to be paid because they negotiate the way they want to negotiate. There, there is no, they, they, there's just nothing. You you can't ask someone, so where did you go to school? Nothing. It's all ad hoc. It's, uh, people want to act because they acted in high school, because it's a hobby, because they, it's fun, they will be celebrities, as in there are all manner of reasons why people want to act. And we decided, uh, we saw a gap in the industry and thought, why don't we empower actors? Why don't we empower them with skills? Because they, there's a lot people need to learn. When you come to me and you're doing rehearsals and the director says something and you look at me like, I'm not sure what that means, but all this is taught somehow. It's just that, I, I don't know if as Kenyans we're not really engaged in terms of we need the skill, because a lot of people who have no skill have gotten it big time. So who cares anyway? So, but I think it's time because uh, we are going to digital TV, and it's time we do things that uh, that are just good. You know, the same way you do your degree, just do it well. As in, let's get the skills for this thing. And what we're doing is that we are starting with the theater academy. We, we want to train children first, then see how we go about it. We already have an instructor on board. Someone who has a degree in theater. I don't know if you've, you know Dr. Julissa Ro. She teaches that they start their classes. It's just that people just don't want to learn. Yeah. <laughs> so these are our clients. We attract a demographic of urban, middle, and upper class persons aged between 28 and 25. We have an average of 1,500 people from this de demographic attending our shows. And we know that a great play, a comfortable theater, great amenities, that's the other thing. <laughs> A great theater, great amenities. <laughs> yeah, <in> this country. <laughs> we have, you know, the KNT is just right in the middle of town. It's awesome. But when you get there, it's run down. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to see then how do we do it? We've kind of gotten into talks with the government and all, but I'm not sure they're going to do anything. But we know that our friendly staff ensure that our clients have the best experience. Possible. Those are our past plays. I talked about them, and uh, <clears throat> these are some of the people we've done. The corporate employee or clients motivation plays where we do a play just for them. Uh, that is an example where we did corporate wife for Nation Media Group. You have the synopsis there. Yeah, I don't think I need to read that. And then a themed corporate communication skit is what we did for code for coke, where we just kicked them up and extrapolated when there were rumors about coke having cancer and all that. And we did a skit to empower their employees because people can just go anywhere and someone is talking badly about your company. You need to know how to talk well about your company. <laughs> so these are some of the people we've worked with. And that is the one team with Nathan Kalumbu, who is the president of coke. And why wholesome entertainment? The Y generation of employees, you know who the Y generation is, is as the sights and sounds. We want to see things. So who form a bulk of today's workforce is a sights and sound generation that messaging should be packaged using a platform that utilizes sights and sounds. That's why I may don't do guitar streaming, they're just boring. <laughs> we create experiential experiences that make the message easier to remember and apply. Our funny, engaging skits have the time release effect. They plant seeds, and that's proud later. That's what we do even for the family theme to place. She asked a, a good question. Why do we do this? We bring a heavy message, but we do it in a humorous manner. Then your guard goes down, and you're laughing. Then I'm able to communicate to you in a relatable manner, in a way that we'll understand. That's what wholesome entertainment is about. Then we use drama in... Uh, the use of drama is more enduring than telling it as it is, and our skits and plays are memorable and provide good entertainment value. Thank you. Mm -hmm.